I'm Dr. Ashok Kumar. I'm consultant orthopedic surgeon and board certified from American Academy for Regenerative Treatment. Today we'll be talking about the top 10 myth on osteoarthritis. So whenever we talk about osteoarthritis, we come across a number of myths like osteoarthritis is a genetic disease. It's more common in female, it's incurable. There are certain food, certain weather which cause osteoarthritis. Arthritis is osteoarthritis. And uh, if you reduce your weight significantly, 50%, 60%, you can cure the osteoarthritis. I'm having osteoarthritis, I cannot do exercise. So the first common myth is osteoarthritis is a genetic disease. It's not true. Although there are certain genes which have been found to be associated with osteoarthritis, but it doesn't mean that if somebody in your family has osteoarthritis, you will develop osteoarthritis. No. Although it may be a little bit more common in some family, but it's not 100% that you will also have the osteoarthritis at some point. Osteoarthritis is a disease of the old people. I am too young. I cannot have osteoarthritis. No, it's not true. Because there are certain people, even at the age of 70 and 75, they have good joints, they have good range of movements, x-rays are fairly okay, and they don't have any symptom of osteoarthritis. But there are certain people who, who even at the age of 45 or 50, they have symptom of osteoarthritis, they have radiological changes of osteoarthritis. So it's not true that it's happened only in old age, or everybody get this at old age. Now, if you are young and you have a history of trauma to your joint with cartilage injury, then you are at risk of developing osteoarthritis. Usually, it takes around 5 to 10 years to develop osteoarthritis after the cartilage injury. Another myth is that there are some food and some weather which can cause arthritis or osteoarthritis. No, it's not true. But there are certain situations like if you are in a cold weather, it can increase your symptoms of osteoarthritis but it will not cause osteoarthritis or arthritis same is about the food one myth is that arthritis means osteoarthritis no arthritis is a common term which means that there is a problem in the joints it may be and there are a number of uh, different kind of arthritis which come under category which could be inflammatory like rheumatoid arthritis Ankylosing spondylitis in which your own immune or some genetic predisposition causes problem of the joints. And osteoarthritis is one of the arthritis in which there is a progressive cartilage thinning because of degeneration of the cartilage which lead to the pain, swelling and in the middle stage lead to the stiffness and in the end stage joint get deformed, the ligaments become loose and deformity of the legs and the bones happen and then you need total hip replacement or total joint replacement depending upon which joint you are having. One myth is that I am having osteoarthritis, I can't do any exercise but that can't be an excuse because if you have osteoarthritis you have there are certain low impact exercise which put a less tension on your joints like cycling, swimming, walking and stretching exercise, yoga, tai chi, they are low impact exercise and they are not going to aggravate your symptom and they help in stabilizing your joints by making your muscle more stronger and the ligament more stronger. Symptom will be less and in some cases if you combine with them the proper diet they can delay the requirement of joint replacement for men. One myth is that osteoarthritis happen only in female not in men. It's not true because Although the research shows that osteoarthritis is more common in female and the exact reason is not known that it could be because of certain genes, because of certain hormone, but osteoarthritis does happen in male also. Uh, one common myth is that whenever I bend my joints or I'm, when I fold my joints it makes a noise, it might like a popping sound, crepitus, stuck. This is called crepitus. Actually, the mo in majority of the cases, there may not be any arthritis and this could be simple because of loosening of your ligaments and the tendon which they snap over, over the bony prominence when you move your joints or it could be a simple air bubble in your synovial fluid which is a lubricating fluid inside your joint and when they burst and they produce the sound. But if you have a significant crepitus and which is painful, which is increasing and you have other symptoms of osteoarthritis like pain, swelling, then you must visit a doctor and rule out the whether you have osteoarthritis or not.
Another method that osteoarthritis is seen on the peripheral joints like the joints of your hand in or in the leg. No. Osteoarthritis also happen in neck and the back and wherever there is a joints are there osteoarthritis can occur. Usually if the terminology is different it's called facet arthritis. They are the small joints in your spine in neck and the back and which also causes pain and uh, which can significantly affect your quality of life. One common question is how much weight we should lose to have any improvement or in pain or the symptom of osteoarthritis. Usually if you reduce 10% of your body weight then there is a 50% decrease in the pain in osteoarthritis. If you increase your weight 1 pound it adds 4 pound more pressure on your joints. And if you are reducing your weight progressively like 5%, 10%, up to 20%, there is a linear correlation with your reduction of the symptom. But after 20%, it may not be linear in many of the patient. One myth is the osteoarthritis, the physiotherapy doesn't work. Well, physiotherapy helps in all kind of arthritis, but it depends what you have. If you have pain, swelling, if your ligament are painful like in inner ligament MCL, outer ligament LCL, if you have inflammation around your tendon like on the top part quadriceps or the down part your patellar tendon or your hamstring are stiff or they are weak or your quadriceps is weak or there is an imbalance between your quadriceps and hamstring then physiotherapy definitely help it relieve your pain it help in your stabilizing your joint by improving the strength of the muscle and making your ligament more strong and like glucosamine chondroitin vitamin d and calcium they help in osteoarthritis yes they do help vitamin d and calcium they basically increase the strength because the bone has calcium but, but the glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate the people are using for years and years and they tend to improve the pain but they actually they do not change the progression of the disease. That's why they are called nutrition supplement and many of the insurance company they don't cover the cost of these vitamins. One common question is when do I need joint replacement? If you have osteoarthritis of like suppose knee joint or hip joint and when you have pain, you have a stiffness, your leg are deformed and your there is a bowing of the leg because of the bone loss or there is a instability at the joint and you have x-ray changes bone to bone which means there is no cartilage if you have rest pain, night pain, if you are progressing walking distance is less then you are a candidate of joint replacement.